I've been travelling around Laos and Thailand in my Datsun 620 pickup truck for nearly three months now. One of the greatest things about travelling by car is having the freedom to go wherever you want, whenever you want. See somewhere you like, pull up and stay for a while. Don't like a place? And simply hop in your car and head to the next town. It's such a good way to travel. But having so much choice often means it's not always easy to decide where to head next. We'd stayed in Luang Prabang for nearly two weeks and absolutely loved it. We were running out of time though. Millie needed to get back to work and I only had so long before I needed to return to the UK. There were two options of where to head next. The first was to head to the charming capital city of Laos and former French trading post Vientiane. It's a long drive to get there though and the road could be just as bad as the road to Luang Prabang, meaning it would take days to get there and the Datsun could easily fall apart before we arrived. And once we got there and crossed the border, it's still a very long drive back to Chiang Mai. So we won't have much time for sightseeing. The second choice will be to head straight to the border and on to Nan. Nan is known for its tranquility and all its beautiful temples. I'd yet to visit here, but it's one of Millie's favorite places and she's always talking about it. So it's somewhere I'd definitely like to visit. It's also a much shorter drive, but there's one big problem with going here. According to Google, the road hadn't been built yet. We'd asked around, some people said the road was finished, others said it would be finished soon. The risk then, if we went this way, is that we could get halfway there and the road suddenly run out. However, if it was open, it'd be a brand new road. The opportunity to drive such a smooth road without potholes for a change was awfully tempting. Right, on the way to the car ferry, Apparently if we go this way, it's a lot quicker and a lot nicer road. So that's the ferry. I think we've timed it quite well, haven't we, Millie? Yeah, we've got here just as one's arriving. And I'll go buy the ticket. Where do you buy the ticket from? Yeah. This boat's going to get you filled, right? which is going to be hard for me to get on. put the parking rock on for this <laughs> and I'm going to end up off the edge. Have you sorted out how much we're paying? <laughs> Have you sorted out the ticket? You sorted out the ticket? He said someone will come to... And how much is it? Have we got enough? Sure. Yeah, we do. Oh, he's... Put his own parking wood on. I'll put one parking brick in just to be safe. Yeah. <laughs> Don't know if it'll do much. Yeah. 
Are you the captain today, Millie? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Where are you taking us? <laughs> Do you know where you're going? No, we're going that way. We're going across the river, not down it. We're leaving now, not getting deeper into it. Right, I'm getting someone else to be the captain. You're no good. I'm good at ordering. <laughs> yes, excellent at this. Excellent at ordering. Look at the frog. Look at that. Custom, custom. We're up. <laughs> I feel like it goes quite fast, this. On the way to on the way to Nam, this road this road is much better, much better than the, the other roads we've been on. It, it, it really. Much better, yeah. <laughs> but it's, it's quite a hilly road, but like nearly no potholes. Not like the other one we came on. So it's, it's actually quite a fun road to drive on. Just have to watch out for the the occasional cow walking across the road and a big giant rock from a landslide but apart from that it's not bad at all it's yeah it's, it's good yeah so we're making good progress we've got the map to be on here it says we're about an hour and 20 minutes away from the border and that's 80 kilometers 80 kilometers on those other roads would have taken us like half a day so yeah an hour's brilliant yeah so we're making good progress so we should be back in Thailand today as long as the border guards don't give us any more bother or I'm a bit worried I'm a bit worried we get uh, there, there'll be a lot of police near the border and they'll try and get money out of us and of course we've spent it all so <laughs> we won't have much luck will they but yeah might make our lives difficult yeah anyway well this is It was looking like the gamble had paid off. The road had been finished, and judging by the lack of traffic, it had not been open long. We did encounter some slightly rougher roads, but nowhere near as much as in the north. This new route makes the beautiful Luang Prabang so much more accessible to people coming from Thailand. And it's definitely the way to go. The only thing to watch out for is the Nan border checkpoint does not issue Lao visas. So if you need one, like I did, you'd have to arrange one before you get there or use a different border crossing. Bye-bye, Lao. It's that way, it's over there. Bye-bye, Lao. Are you glad to be? Bye-bye, Tom. <laughs> Bye, Millie. I hope you have a nice walk back to Thailand. Yeah. Right, get in the car. It was great to be back on the smooth Thai roads and I don't think I'll ever complain about them again but it also just felt good to be back in Thailand and I was excited to see Nan. After finding us a nice place to stay and with the Datsun safely parked up Millie wanted to show me a rather curious place. What the yeah? So this is like Buddhist hell. Yeah, actually hell. This one. Yes, so much hell. Yeah. Yes, so much. She's on uh, the path. Like, okay, so don't talk to all, the... All have no one. No one has the... Uh, no sound. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, yeah. This one, I... They have no one. 
Hot water into your mouth. Okay. And who's the guy sat on the throne at the back? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, He will have like the back list, the back and see you and when you were there, when you were there, when you have that, there's how many... How many bad things? Yeah. So, oh, oh, and actually, what about the guy getting chopped in half? What did he do? On my best behaviour, we went off to explore Nan. Not wanting to find out what would happen to someone in Buddhist hell who forgets birthdays, I also picked up Millie a birthday cake. Millie was actually born in Nan, and one of her favourite things to do on her birthday is visit the local temple. So we set off with the goal to visit the seven main temples in Nan, all in one day. Nan is very peaceful for a Thai city and has some very friendly residents. A little bit out of the way, it doesn't get as many tourists as some other cities. But if you like visiting temples, this is a great place to come and see. I really enjoyed our trip to Lao, but I was so happy to be back in Thailand. The people, the food, the lifestyle, it was really starting to feel like home. I think in the end, we definitely made the right decision driving the road to Nantes.